Today we're going to be taking a look at Leica's BLK360 Advanced Precision Laser Scanner and I'm going to show you how you can survey using this scanner by incorporating a total station for control and combining scans from your iPhone's LiDAR sensor to create a complete model. Now this is the second generation BLK360 scanner. It's smaller and faster than the original and it is considered a professional grade laser scanner for small and medium sized projects. And the really nice thing about the BLK360 is that I can incorporate targets like this one and assign survey grade control in order to georeference my data set into my survey. And all of this gets recorded onto the Field360 app that you can download in the App Store and manage the entire data collection process on your iPhone. And so today we're going to be surveying the end unit of this condo. We'll be getting the front of the building adjacent to the road, the side of the building, as well as the back of the building. With these three scans, we'll be able to register them into one bundle. And this bundle will include all the data that we need for this project. Now I'm going to start by setting some control points using my surveying total station. Later on, we'll be setting our targets on these points as we are scanning throughout the project in order to georeference the scan in the office and position it in our local coordinate system. So that'll be point number one. That'll be number two. That's three. And that's four. So I've got my total station set up on point number one. I've loaded like a Captivate on my controller and I'm going to go to setup and I'm gonna start by setting the orientation for the project since I have no data. I'll say okay. I'll be using point number one, which I've assigned coordinates, 5,000 for the northing, 10,000 for the easting and 100 for the elevation. I've measured the height of this total station and it actually comes out to exactly five feet. It takes a skilled surveyor to set up an instrument at five feet. I'll go ahead and say okay. Back set ID will be point number two. My target height, which is the height of my rod, is at 5.712 feet, and our direction will be zero degrees. Now I'm gonna go and hold point number two. All right, and here is point number two. Set my rod right here, and I am going to have the total station search and find me. Lock to target. All right, good. Then now I'll hold the rod plumb and take a distance. All right, there we go. So our horizontal distance is at 35.66 feet. That is the difference between here and where the total station is. This all looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and click set. All right, now point number one and point number two are both in the system. Let's go and measure point number three. Now make sure you remember that horizontal and vertical distance because we're going to be testing the relative accuracy of the BLK360 scanner and seeing if we get the same results between the first and second control point inside of our scan. Point number three, make sure our rod is plumb, and I'm going to say measure. Point stored. And there we go, point number three is stored. Now point number four is directly this way, and I don't think we're gonna be able to see it from the total station, so we're actually going to move the total station here to point number three in order to take a position on point number four. Okay, so I've set up the total station here on point number three. For the setup method, we are going to be utilizing a known back site now. I'm gonna say okay. Okay, so this is going to be point number three. I'm gonna say okay. And then for the rod height, 492. 4.92. And we are going to be backsighting one with a rod of 5.712. Okay, I'm gonna make the total station search and find me. Lock to talk. Take a distance. Okay, differences look pretty good. I'm gonna hit set. And now we're going to measure point number four and store. Point stored. All right then, we've now got coordinates for all four of our control points, and it's time to put the total station away and pull out our BLK360. All right, I've got both my targets set up on control points one and two, and now I'm gonna set the BLK somewhere arbitrarily in between both of these points. So this spot right here is pretty good. I feel like I can get good coverage of our building. So if I turn this around, I can power it on. And the nice thing is all of the data collection happens on the Field360 app that you can get on your iPhone. Okay, so here it is, Field360. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect to my BLK360 scanner. I'll say join. And now I'm going to create a new job and I'm just going to call this office building. I can then take a picture so I know where I am. So I'll take a picture of the unit. Looks nice. I'll use this photo and then I will save. Okay, so the hard part is done. Now all I have to do is select this bottom left icon 
That is to give me access to my scanner. And we're going to be collecting HDR pictures because it's pretty sunny out today. And our point density is going to be at the maximum density. This setup will take us one minute and 37 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and click start. And I'm gonna get out of the way and let the scanner do its job. So as the scanner starts, it's gonna begin by taking images and stitching them together. So you can see uh, this is a three-story building and it's getting all the way up to the top of the roof, which is really nice. We can see that right there is the target. If I keep rotating here, we see this target target number one and of course there's me I'm standing behind the camera more of the scan has come in now so it's more full okay scan number one is done if I click on the 360 view I can see the a panoramic image that was taken by all of the cameras on board of the BLK 360 and 3d mode will allow me to see the lidar scan now that looks really really nice we can see there's that target at point number two and if I move around here there's the target at point number one and the most important thing is our building now one thing I like to do is annotate in the scan the targets and their heights on the tripod this will make it a lot easier in register 360 when we identify the positions of these targets with the coordinates that we collected on the total station. So on the bottom middle, I'm going to select this little icon and then I'm going to annotate text. And this right here is target number two. And then for the height, I am getting 4.86 feet. So 4.86. I'm gonna select attach, which will let me attach this somewhere in the scan. Now this doesn't have to be exactly in the middle. It just needs to be relatively close. We will select the actual center and register 360. So I'll say attach. Now I'm going to add one more and that's gonna be here for target number one. And the height is 5.10 feet, 5.10. And I will attach this to the first target right there attach. So now that we're done with the first setup, let's move our BLK laser scanner and scan the side of the building. Okay, I'm going to select the new scan button. Everything looks good here. I'm going to get out of the shot and start our scan. Here we go. You can see there's me I'm behind my camera and there's our point number two target. If we look now, we can see the whole building here was taken care of. We can see every aspect of it. Very nice. And there is target number three. Very good. And now it's going to finish processing this second scan. All right. Now the second scan shows up and it's right on top of the first scan. Once we're done with all three of our scans, I'll show you how to register all of them in the Fields 360 app. But I'm going to quickly measure and annotate the height of this target. Looks like five. 0.06 and that target is right here and for the last and final scan I'm gonna set up the scanner right here okay we'll start a new scan everything looks good so we'll begin scanning And there we go, we've got all three of the scans in. And now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to align these scans on Field 360. But first I gotta measure the height of the fourth target. 4.94, 494. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can register all of your scans so that they are in one bundle and all of them are referencing each other in the correct location. We'll start by pressing this button on the right. This will allow us to align scans together. So I'm gonna start with scan number one and scan number two. I'll hit start start alignment and now I can move this scan right here and try to get it best aligned to my abilities so it looks like right here this is the same building so I'm gonna get it as close as I can and then I'm going to utilize the optimize option and this will utilize features from both scans and register them correctly in the right place so I'll hit optimize and there we go it clicks into place and then I can say create link. And now scan number one and scan number two are linked. I'll do the same thing right now, but with scan number two and scan number three, I'll hit start alignment. And again, we're gonna be close. We'll hit optimize and then it fits it right in there. And I'll say create link. Okay, if we look here, we can see now we've got all three of the scans registered and in the correct place. And you can actually kind of see where the building is uh, over top from the three scans combined. You can see in the 3D viewer, I'm gonna try to increase the point size here. All three of the scans registered and we can see the building from all three scans. Very cool, very nice. Now, when we look at the overall point cloud, we can definitely 
definitely see some areas where there are still gaps. We can set up the BLK to do additional scans, or we could use our iPhone's LiDAR sensor to fill in any gaps. If we look closely here in the back, you can see where the air condition unit is. There's definitely a lot of missing data back there. And this area could be pretty critical for someone that's doing some HVAC maintenance work. So I'm gonna show you how you can add that data using just the iPhone's LiDAR sensor. What you'll wanna do is select the scan at which this took place in. So this was in setup three. You'll select the annotate option. You'll come over to where it says 3D and then you'll select capture. So it will load up and initialize the app. And once it's done that, it's gonna ask you to stand where the position of the scanner was during that third setup. I know that the scanner was somewhere in this vicinity, so then I'll try to show the area right here, and hopefully it will align me with the point cloud that we already have. Try to find our position, and there we go, it's found where we are. Okay, and now I'll just get closer to where this AC unit is, and then I will select record. And there we go, the iPhone's LiDAR sensor fills in the missing gaps. So I can go around the AC unit and get all of that missing data. Very nice. When I like it, I'll hit save. And now when I look through the point cloud and I zoom into the air conditioning unit, I can see a more filled in scan thanks to the iPhone's LiDAR sensor. Integrating both the BLK and the iPhone sensor will give you the most versatility when creating an accurate model. And speaking of accuracy, let's see how close the first and second control points are in the first scan using that BLK 360 in comparison to a total station. I'm going to pick the first scan. I'll pick the 360, so that's our 360 image. And I will take a measurement from the center of the first target until the second target. So it looks like the horizontal distance is 35.67. We had 35.66, so that's one hundredth of a foot. And then for the vertical, we have 0.23. And on the total station, we had 0.25. And between 0.23 and 0.25, we're only two hundredths of a foot. This is some incredible accuracy that you can achieve using the BLK360. Now I am able to take all of these scans and bring them into Register 360, where I'm able to assign coordinates to all of those control points based off of the coordinates that I calculated with the total station, also providing me with absolute accuracy to my local coordinate system on my total station. If you'd like to learn more about the BLK360, then be sure to check out the link in the description. Special thanks to Leica Geosystems for sponsoring today's video. And with that, I will see you guys next time.